What is up, you guys? Today, we are talking about this bad daddy. I went to Waterfield, got to see their factory in that vlog, which I'll put a link to in, up, up here and down in the description, where I got to see a handful of you know bad company stores. And with Waterfield, there isn't a store. There's a factory in San Francisco where they design and manufacture everything. And one of the things on this shelf I saw was this bag. It's called the Atlas Executive hold all, executive athletic hold all. I saw it and I was like, dude, I'm curious about that bag. Can I go test that bag? It had a lot of things I just liked. I liked the size of it. You know, I've got a few entrepreneurial friends, really cool guys, guys that run cafes and restaurants up in Portland. And, and one of the things that they'll use for a daily is something more like a duffel like this, because they're bringing a lot of stuff around. They're constantly got like lots of papers. business papers, man. And so I was already interested in the in the size and, and the shape of it, and I loved the materials of the wax canvas and the leather. I didn't know, though, if I would like using it. Oh man, I have loved using this as a daily carry bag. There's a huge drawback here. It is expensive. It comes in at like $429 at the time of making this video. It is spendy. You're spending money on great full grain leather, on bitchin' waxed canvas, YKK AquaGuard sealed zips, all sorts of stuff, right? But the shit pricey, 430 bucks, but you're gonna last, it's gonna last for a really long time too, so I'm just gonna keep my voice up here, cause I don't know. So here's my gist on this bag. It is the Waterfield Atlas Hold All, Executive Hold All, Athletic <laughs> Review, let's get into it. Okay, the first thing I already mentioned, it is built with such great materials. You know where you're gonna feel this like almost more than anywhere else? Check out, it's these these handles. These handles are so, that's just leather. It's so easy, it's stupid. It's just delicious leather. And check out this wax canvas, right? Like this, this is just stupid. It's just simple. It's just simple, but it's so beautiful. There's just something about these, the way these materials feel to use to your hands, right? Not only that, but also inside the like the tech compartment, right? They use this nice like rip stoppy kind of liner that's mustard yellow or gold that helps with visibility inside the bag. But then the 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 materials that they use to keep the laptop compartment uh Fluffy. Okay, so you can see here, this is, this pouch zips all the way down, by the way. You can see here, they got a little fluffy here. Actually, it's not my favorite fluffy. It's a nice kind of fluffy. It feels like a like a really soft Velcro, like you could easily, add, like the the, hook, the loop side of the hook and loop, loop Velcro thing. I bet Waterfield will do some innovation over the next few years in what they what they line this stuff with. Okay, but all the materials, including these these zips, these YKK zips with, with nice leather pull tabs. I mean, this is not a very vegan friendly bag at all. Um, I went there, I saw their their leather. They would just get these beautiful pieces of leather and how they'll they'll make different parts of different bags out of different kinds of leathers based on what the grain's doing and and it, you know every the thing it's, just, it's pretty. It's sad that someone has to die for it. But you know, we humans, man. The big takeaway on the on this first point is that your hands will delight in this bag every day. That is, that is, you know, that's like priceless. It's like Tony Robbins. Like you can't put a price on your own happiness, but I will. It's six thousand dollars in my five day event. It's a kind of, it's a kind of priceless to be able to, on a daily basis, have that kind of quality materials. And it doesn't just stop there. It's also, it's not just what the bag feels like. It's also like whether the bag has enough space for your things and what it's like to use on a daily basis, not just what it's made out of. So let's get into that. Okay, so basically what this bag is, is is a duffel bag. It's a small duffel bag. It's designed to be your gym and office bag, right? So over here on this side, there's a little shoe compartment, which, which opens into the bag if you want. It, it has its own con container inside. What I mean by opens into the bag is, is that as you get into this thing, it spreads this material, this keeping your shoes completely separate from the stuff inside of the bag, all the dirt off of it. It keeps that, uh, but it moves into the bag. Now inside, you actually have a zipper over here. Can you see this? There's a zippered compartment that goes in the same way. So you can just say like, hey, actually, I don't want you to even be able to move into there. I don't want you, I don't want your shit in my inner capacity. That's what I did. I kept this little pouch out here on the outside just as like a little, actually, I have a little lacrosse ball that I take with me everywhere for um, 
for like I roll it on my back, under my feet, on my calves because I got a little plantar fasciitis going. By the way, if you have plantar fasciitis, I'll put a link in the description below to my buddy Doug's video. Doug's dose on plantar fasciitis. It'll get you working real good. A lot of people don't understand that it actually comes from your calf and not actually in your foot or your heel at all. It's, it's a very complicated thing. So I would put that ball just in here. I didn't really use this pouch at all, but it's made, this bag again, just made for being your gym bag. So shoes go into there. Now I want to say this simple, but solid tech organization. Okay. This, this side of the bag right here is your main compartment. It's basically just one open space, but you've got solid, if a little simple tech organization on this side right here, which opens all the way down in case you need it to. Over here, you've got a laptop and 15 inch laptop thing and a nice uh, iPad or tablet thing. My iPad Pro fits in there perfectly. I throw my keyboard, my Apple keyboard, just right in here because I don't need a sp fancy pouch for it. And then you've got these two pouches right here. This is what I mean by simple, but solid. Actually, these two pouches are super satisfactory for me to divide and conquer my gear. I throw my notebook over here in this one. I've got a little pen thing right here, which I put my, uh, my iPad stylus in because, I mean, you bought it, might as well put it somewhere. Typically, I keep that, I have this little like sticky thing that I just put that right in there and normally I put it there, but this makes it easier to get it in and out of that that thing, so it's nice, you know? You see it there and you're reminded like, oh, I should use that really expensive iPad that I bought. Okay, and then on this pouch, I keep my uh, my Apple mouse and my uh, Glyph Atom Raid external hard drive. Links to all this stuff in the description below if you wanna check it out for yourself. But simple, it's just pouches right here. But this is what the executives know, is they don't wanna be like, they, they want to work the way that they want to work, right? And so having too much organization in here, one like for like business cards or things like that, no. Real time executives, let me tell you something, they have a business card holder, you know, and that just goes right in here. So I love these two pouches things. It reminds me of that Filson 24 hour briefcase, one of my favorite daily carries of all time, very similar to this bag in some ways. And on the outside, it has two big pouches like this that are zipped up and they're just my favorite size pockets. Okay, so very simple but satisfactory, solid tech organization. You've got your main compartment. There's basically nothing in here. There's a zippered, there's one zippered compartment up here. You see that? Got some zippered stuff going right there. Then you've got a quick access, a simple quick access pocket on the front where I throw my glasses, all right? And then inside, you actually have a perfect little like, um, this, is, this is a nice material. This is where I wish they would go with their with their laptop thing. It's like a suede almost. It's like a faux suede and it's just made for your phone to go into. Okay, so now you've got a nice little place to throw your phone. Look at that. Oh, oh, easy does it. Okay, so simple quick access pocket. Also, there's a little like key, uh, key clip, little key clip in there, which is nice. I mean, it's got this nice piece of leather on the front. So I find that like bulky stuff doesn't fit very well in there because it definitely pinches down there towards the bottom. But this stuff in cases like my phone or just my glasses works great. And then just a, uh, a, la a water bottle over here. This is perfect for whatever. You might be so executive that you, you know, roll up your financial times. You know, those financial times that come in like a little bit of a pinker color. <laughs> They're just like printed on something super cheap or whatever. Uh, you could roll that up, put that in there. But I've been loving, I love just throwing my Camelback shoot, my favorite water bottle for sure. Link in the description below. Why would you do anything else? It's got a magnet. They updated it now. They got a magnet. How do they work? Okay, my next point here is it's got ample space. So the main compartment, let me pull this guy out so you can, you can just get a sense of the space. This is what I love so much about this bag is it just has plenty of space and... I'll tell you about the end later. But first of all, just lots and lots of space. I was able to fit everything I need to in here, okay? I've got a pouch that I carry just for snacks. This is just full of snacks. You can go to bagworks.co slash snacks and you can see the kind of snacks I'm rolling with. But I always have snacks on me because I work just like, I've worked very hard all day long. I'm focused. I got to have the right nutrition. When I come home, I got to be able to like not be a jerk to my kids. And a lot of that for me has to do with my nutrition and my nutrition also has to do with how focused I am during the day. 
So I'm very, I'm serious about snacks. I know a lot of you probably are getting sick of hearing that. I've also got another Waterfield pouch here, which I put my Bluetooth headphones in. I'll put a link in the description below to the Bluetooth headphone deathmatch. Um, these active noise canceling headphones have really kind of changed my life in a lot of ways, even though I, I try, like I don't like that they're so big and they're bulky or whatever, but they really do help me out. And then I've got a bunch of tech stuff in this pouch as well. Put a link to all my favorite pouches at this time code. There's a whole page on my website. It's just my favorite pouches, of which Waterfield are some of my favorites. But there's a lot of others, too. One of my bummers here is Waterfield I don't have an affiliate relationship with. So, you know, I guess this is the time to mention my Patreon account. <laughs> I'm selling $500 bags to people, and I can't help it. I just, like, I'm going to tell you about cool bags, whether or not I have an affiliate relationship with people. You know, this is how I'm putting money on my, ta on my food. Money on my food. This is how I'm putting money on the table. This is how I'm putting food in the... <laughs> in my child's mouth. So I like, I'm very serious about the partners that I get to work with. Luckily, I, I don't have to be very serious because they're all so serious. They make such great stuff. Waterfield makes some of the best stuff out there, but it's expensive and they don't pass on any of that to me. So you can check out my Patreon if you really want to be involved with what we're doing here. <laughs> I just want to thank you for even paying attention to me for one minute. Okay, I've also got my smoke pouch, which is uh, which fits in there nice and easily. Nice little pouch. All these pouches are listed at bagworks.co slash pouches. And then I also have my Roost computer stand, which I take to the cafe because if you work on a computer, sitting is the new smoking. And that just helps me get my neck my neck up. That's why I bring my keyboard and my mouse, just like a fucking baby boomer or whatever. No disrespect. Respect those baby boomers. Respect you. My dad, respect you. <laughs> but you guys are silly, silly about technology. You know what I mean? You guys will always like bring around like a, a mouse and stuff when you got a trackpad perfectly right there on your computer. But now I'm doing it. And I keep my laptop up and I got my neck up and I'm doing this thing. Man, I get to the cafe and I pull out all this shit, but it all fits in one bag. And it all like, I don't take up any more space, you know? I don't just keep them to my own little self. But anyways, here's the capacity on this sucker, all right? Lots of space in there. You can fit so much stuff. Here's the thing. I actually traveled with this bag. I took one of my favorite packing cubes, the Peak Designs Big, the full, large packing cube, bagworks.co slash pouches for my favorite packing cubes as well, but I shoved that on one side, all my pouches on the other side, and my ta my laptop and tech stuff, and it worked so good. It was such a good bag to travel with. Even though it's not a backpack, it's just an over-the-shoulder bag. And just so you know, this bag qualifies for a lot of airlines personal item thing, right? So you've got the, uh, the thing right here so it can go on your roller bag, and then you've got this as your personal item when you get on the plane. I was able to fit it right under the seat in front of me, which is how I always travel. Okay, so it's got ample capacity lots of space that's what felt so cool for me is like you're not pinched at all I loved that another thing about this is it was great just to carry it was just great to carry it like see how the bag holds its shape so anytime you put it down it stands up also the handles just felt like so good to hold and carry and walk with it was a very it just felt good okay whether or not I had the bag full it was just nice to carry like this I never went over the breast like this, uh, really, with it. It's just like, it's a little more of a grown-up bag than that. So I just left it like this, and man, I just loved carrying it. Their shoulder strap is nice. It's got some rubbery, uh, sort of tacky stuff back here, so it doesn't, it doesn't slide off. And it also has that nice wax canvas. Okay, so now my final bit on this bag is this, that it is surprisingly stylish. Now, some of you are gonna just think it does not have any style at all. That's totally fine. To me, and to a lot of people, it just looks like a very grown up, professional, stylish kind of bag. But it leans towards Indiana Jones. It leans towards adventure with the wax canvas and the leather instead of, you know, like, I don't know, just a just like an out of touch, fancy rich guy. I think what this world needs is in touch rich guys, right? And gals, right? We need we need our we need our wealthy people to to I mean, even though we're coming at them with pitchforks and making them feel fucking guilty for succeeding or something like that, like we want to take them out or something because they got a target on their backs. But this I love as a kind of style. Uh, you understand? Like as a, like it just is like a nice stylish look. I felt very confident using this bag. I felt like it was really it was really honest for me to wear this bag and to use this bag. It also felt like a like I was elevating myself, like I was being more of a big boy in some ways. Now, that you know, your mileage may vary on that. And that's why I make such a big point of like the truth is the 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 materials 
and the the decisions and design speak for themselves. This other intangible thing where it like it fits into your model of who you are really well, that is a big that's a big thing for me. And that's one of the reasons why I like Waterfield so much is cuz a lot of this stuff skews a little older looking. Like one of my favorite bags is their Bolt backpack. I'd love to work with them on a way to like make it a little have a little bit of a younger vibe. Not that not that there's very many young people who, who can afford to buy that bag. But man, the way this thing's gonna break in over time, the patina on this leather, you can already see it starting to happen. Like they, one of the things that one of the uh, the ladies in the factory said at Waterfield was they'll get bags in for repair. You should check out their warranty and repair and return stuff um, because they just, they fix up bags. All of it is made in a factory in San Francisco so they can repair things there. And she said some of their like all leather bags are sent back in for a little repair thing. They don't want to get a new bag. They want this bag. They just need that one little like that one little thing sewed back on or that one little rivet like whatever it, fixed because it has such a beautiful worn in patina over time. And they're just like, I don't I don't want another bag like I want this bag. And these bags they're going to last a really long time. And then if anything happens to it, you can get it repaired. So ironically, if you think the most spreadsheet intelligency about it, you might end up saving a lot of money going with a more expensive bag that has a pro that has like a kind of, re uh, 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 not return, but, but repair capability like that. This is where sustainability and, and, and initial cost like they have to, it's like Arcteryx. This things cost like a million bucks, right? But you look over time, it might, it might amortize out at being more uh, affordable, right? This is the whole dream of good stuff. And my dream of companies making products that are worth committing to that way. Your mileage may vary. This is expensive at 430 bucks. A lot of the bags that I'm going to champion and try to get you into are going to be more expensive than what you're thinking. I get a lot of people asking, I want to buy a bag for school or something and I only have 80 bucks or 120 bucks or something like that. And I totally understand that. But to me, I'm like, dude, do you have any relatives you can pool together and have them each give you 50 bucks for Christmas? You know, just like, hey, I'm saving up all this year to get a bag that I'm not going to have to replace in three years because you're going to end up saving a lot more money when you make an intelligent and informed decision. That's, I mean, I'm probably speaking to the choir here. Like I'm probably preaching to the choir. You guys are probably thinking about that. Though some of you I know could go further in thinking like that. And that's to me where a product gets very fucking special, right? So it matters who's designing it. It matters who's making it, the actual workers and the quality of life there. That karmically, I think it's involved in the bags. Like Call me a weird beard, but dude, you are paying to keep ways of life going for people, right? So when I think of sustainability, I think of all of that shit. And so the 430 bucks, like immediately it's like, oh shit. But then the more you learn about the product, the more you learn about the materials, the more you learn about the designer and the, the point of view at the heart of these things, there are products out there that will literally <laughs> make you a better person. I'm like, I'm going off on a, on a rabbit trail right now, <laughs> but I'm serious about it. I remember, I'll never forget having Coco's Donuts. I say it's the donut that made me want to be, that made me realize I could be a better man. <laughs> In Portland, we have all these donuts. We've got Blue Star Donuts, which are like $5 cakes in the shape of a donut that like you want to split with like three of your friends. We've got Voodoo Donuts, which is like, you know, huge penis shaped. Oh, it's crazy. It's There's cereal on it. It's ridiculous. Guy Fieri. I think Triple D went there. Diners, drive-ins, and dives. Do you know it well? It's one of my favorite shows of all time. I can watch Guy Fieri just eat all day long, just go <laughs> and watch him kind of fuck with the people. Guy Fieri is for sure one of my spirit animals. Sorry, I'm really on a tear here, but I then I tried at Coco's Donuts. I tried a Coco, just a basic 69 cent donut at the time. It was just ba just like the donut shop that you're, you're at with a kid. You know, it's like you're a kid. Your grandpa takes you to a donut shop, like you get a donut. You know, it's like that, except for, except for, oh, fuck, man. That is a delicious donut. That is thoughtful. That is delicate. That has like these beautiful little air bubbles. And when you bite into them, the yeast or the whatever, like sort of explodes. The, the, you taste the process of making it. You taste the ingredients and you taste the, the way that the icing on the maple bar has this like just the most delicate little porcelain kind of cracks in it when you bite into it. And the way it dissolves in your mouth, it's like, 
fuck, dude, this is a good donut. The donut that made me realize I could be a better man. And this is that donut. I don't know. I'm just saying products are like, I don't, products are, are these, are these experiences. I think products are almost like novels. Like they're like movies. They're things you interact with. And the better, best part about it is like, you're the movie. Like you're the, you're the one living life that you, you grab this stuff, this, and, and you've got the baby's like things in here and it goes with you. And now you've got what you need as well as your like stylus for your iPad pro, right? These bags enable our life. So it's a very fascinating product when you think really seriously about products bags are like oof, one of the best out there okay let's talk about the downsides of this bag first and foremost we've mentioned a lot it's just expensive right it costs a lot to it's an investment it costs a lot up front to get into it for a lot of you people right you people and me people as well if i came to my wife going like i want to get this bag it's 430 dollars she's like i'm sorry no look out here she comes what you doing what you doing, baby girl? You gonna help daddy make a video? So here you see, <laughs> here you see the Waterfield Executive Athletic Hold All. It really does hold all. What do you think, baby? Pew. Pew? Say bye-bye, baby. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. So think about it more in terms of investment because this is the kind of thing that's gonna last you for a really long time. And this format of bag, I find is a good bag to like use sometimes and then switch into something else, right? So again, you're saying like, hey babe, can I have $430 so that I can get a bag that I use occasionally but then sometimes use something else? Like it's not the only bag I'm gonna want. Like it's not gonna be the end all and be all of bags. But like this with like one other one, like maybe it'll like, like maybe it'll be set for life. But I don't know, you know, because taste change, style change. But this is the kind of thing that I think is gonna be with me for a really long time. Your wife's gonna be sitting there going like, did you, did you just say that out loud to me? Okay, another bummer about this bag is it is a shoulder slash duffel bag and handle bag, right? So a lot of you, that's a deal breaker. You want the hands-free, the, the backpack thing. One of the things that's hard is getting a backpack to be this sort of, um, th look this dignified. It just is a very dignified way of carrying over the shoulder and handle. I, I like it. it, it's very grown up, right? So your mileage may vary on that. So the other thing is maybe some of you are gonna think it's heavy, but it's only three and a half pounds, right? With the wax canvas and the leather, it's 3.4. And then it also comes in a ballistic nylon and leather, and that comes in at like 3.1 pounds. So it's not that, it's not that heavy. And honestly, I love how solid the bag feels. Okay, so that is the Waterfield Executive athletic hold all. I just think it's a lovely, well-designed, well-executed bag. It is for sure going into my, like as much as I'd love to give that bag away to someone that I love, I don't think anybody's gonna love it as much as I'm going to. Like that bag is a, is a, is a, companion for me for sure going into my private collection um listen if you haven't yet get on the email list at bagworks.co we're constantly doing giveaways of bags and sending them out individually to people another thing to do there is to look at the updated pages on the site uh especially pouches and i'm currently working on travel and daily care i'm updating it all so that it's really easy to get in there and find which bags you want to dig deeper into right that's my whole thing on bagworks.co i just want to help you Find the right bag fast. And, I, and it's the kind of bag that's gonna last you for a long time, right? So check out bagworks.co if you haven't and get on the email list because if you're not on the email list, I literally can't help you. Okay, subscribe to this channel here at YouTube. This seems to be where I'm building my armada of people who are interested in things that we are interested in, okay? So if you're interested, then let's interest each other by subscribing to my channel. This is gonna be a one-way sort of thing, but it's two-way when you do the comments. I read every fucking comment still. Like I still read every single comment and and when there's an easy answer, when there's a way I can answer it, like I I will I will answer it. Sometimes I get, I, get, I blow a little smoke and then I sit there and I get really deep on some of, the, some of the responses. I'm like, so what you're saying is interesting. You're looking for a bag like this. So I, I mean, your thoughtful comments are always like, they just true me up. They help me realize, oh my God, these people are out there and they care about their bags, but they use it differently than me. I could totally see why they would need it to do that. And then I'll be looking for that and more reviews going forward. Okay, you guys, this was a quickie. It was supposed to be a quickie, but I just like talking to you. Thanks for paying attention. My family and I were still on the road. We're traveling, we're rolling around, and hopefully, you know, be in some port near you at some point. Maybe we'll hang out. I don't know. Get on the email list. I can't help you. I can't help you if you're not on the email list at bagwords.co. Find care, take care, serve hard, and dig in. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time I publish another video on this damn channel, which I do fairly often. Bye-bye. Love you. Bagworks.co. 
chasereeves.net. Those are the websites. I guess those are the websites yeah, where I he's wanting so. us to hmm. let's go check out what he's up to or something like that. Yeah, it looks nice. 